Mentioning the name Marquis of Vargas means referring to a dynasty of four generations devoted to the production and commercialization of outstanding wines from the Rioja. In 1840, Don Felipe de la Mata, 8th Marquis of Vargas, decided to plant the first grapevines at the Prado Lagar estate. Since then, four generations of this family lineage have cultivated the vineyards on this estate. Don Pelayo de la Mata, Count of San Cristobal, and his brother, Don Francisco, 9th Marquis of Vargas, who was elected mayor of Logroño, kept the passion for the vines at Prado Lagar alive. An especially prominent figure was Don Hilario de la Mata, 10th Marquis of Vargas and father of the current Marquis, as he was chairman of an important winery group and co-proprietor of another firm in the sector. Don Hilario, an enthusiast of the world of wine just like his predecessors, always dreamed of having a winery of his own and creating a wine with the family's name. Sadly, he died while still very young and was unable to see his dream made reality. I remember my father's expression, the gleam in his eyes when he spoke with overwhelming enthusiasm about having his own winery, a dream that he had in mind for many years. As his children, we could not let him down. In 1989, Don Pelayo de la Mata, 11th Marquis of Vargas and Count of San Cristobal, together with his siblings, saw their father's dream made reality when today's winery was built at the family estate in Logroño, at the heart of the Rioja Alta. Historically, the wineries from Rioja have sourced their grapes from several wine growers in the area. Contrary to that tradition, Marques de Vargas was founded following the French Chateau concept. The winery is set at the center of its own vineyards with a philosophy of elaborating Reserva and Gran Reserva wines, exclusively made of grapes from the family's vineyards surrounding it. Wines of limited production that are perfect examples of their region, expressing the typicity and identity of a unique terroir. Hacienda Prado Lagar covers 52 hectares of vineyard divided into 32 different plots according to the type of soil the climate, and the grape varietals. The estate sectorization is the result of the in-depth parametric cartography, led by a team of terroir-focused wine experts. Ana Barron, winemaker at Marques de Vargas, Xavier Aussas, winemaking consultant, and David Pernet, acclaimed cartographer and founder of Sauvivant in Bordeaux. The moment I had the first vintage of Marques de Vargas in my hands was truly emotional. It was the culmination of a dream. Having witnessed firsthand the wonder worked by nature during the entire life cycle of the vine until the obtaining of its prized fruit, participating in the choice of the best moment to start harvesting, carefully and patiently watching over the entire process of vinification and aging, and finally, tasting the results after several years of waiting, made me understand why my father was so enthusiastic about having his own wine. The vineyard is the manor's garden. Its vines are pampered all year round as if they were a garden, without the use of any kind of herbicide or pesticide, adopting sustainable agricultural practices with pruning and bunch removal to increase the harvest quality. Harvesting is carried out in parcels, making the first selection at the vineyard. The grapes are placed in 12 kilogram cases and enter into cold chambers in the few minutes just after hand picking. Pre-cooling the bunches overnight has recognized positive effects on the quality of the wine. The winery has been designed according to the new estate division to have a production area equipped with the most modern technical elements and aging cellars where the wines mature in unsurpassable conditions aging in French oak selected barrels from the best coopers. Marques de Vargas only produces fine wines for long aging, which have been successfully qualified as single vineyard by the DOCA Rioja due to the extraordinary characteristics of their plots, their uniqueness and distinctive production process, 
and the absolute respect for the traditional techniques in the vineyard manual pruning and hand picking. The great reaction of the market to the Marques de Vargas reserve wines from the Rioja encouraged the De La Mata family to expand its winemaking legacy to other representative Spanish designations of origin that responded to the same parameters of high-end, own vineyard, and limited production wines. The family first acquired a historic vineyard, the Val de Stremedo estate, which was already producing grapes to make wines that were served in the court of King Felipe II of Spain in Valladolid back in the 16th century as evidenced by the first entry of the state in the land registry. The winery is situated in the vicinity of Peña Fiel and therefore set on the famous Golden Mile of the Ribera del Duero appellation. It was named Conde de San Cristobal Family Vineyards and Cellars and the link with the first count, Julian de San Cristobal y Eguiareta, with the area as judge of the Royal Appellate Court of Valladolid. Our winemaker, Jorge Peque, together with Xavier Ausas, work shoulder to shoulder in the elaboration of great quality wines, prompted to be perfect varietal examples of the area and the typicity of their terroir. Every 15th of January, devout pilgrims arrive at a small chapel built in an attractive corner in Galicia on the banks of the Miño to make their offerings to San Maurus, San Mauro in Spanish, San Amaro in Galician, and ask for his protection against rheumatic illnesses. The chapel, built in 1582 in his honor by a noble transborder family called Pereira de Castro, forms part of the Pazo de San Mauro estate, where today the excellent wines bearing the same name are produced. Pazo San Mauro was the latest acquisition made by the family. This historical stately home in the Rias Baixas area dates to the 16th century, and its winery is considered to be one of the oldest in Europe. The estate of 20 hectares, planted with south-facing vineyards, descends in terraces to the banks of the Miño River, creating a natural amphitheater and wrapping it up with the magic and mystery of Celtic legends. This is the perfect setting for our winemaker, where Susana Pérez delivers the enthusiasm and dedication that such historical vineyards deserve. Marques de Vargas Family Vineyards and Cellars has become a solid family project, the result of the commitment, the tenacity, and vision of four generations devoted to winemaking. My dream, to be capable of transmitting the same passion for the world of wine that I inherited from my father to the next generation, so that it can continue leading this family legacy with pride and a firm commitment to our values.